Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a cool Chrome extension. But let me give you a reason why would you like to try that extension and it's not a sponsor video. So I am a programmer, I do a lot of coding. So basically I use Dark Team for my IDE when I'm writing a code. And the problem I was facing when I use the dark team, I go to my browser and in the browser, let's say I'm using Django. This is really white. All the web pages on the internet pretty much has a white background and a dark text, which makes your eyes a bit strained. It's not good for your eyes from switching a black theme and then going to really bright screen. Okay. So I was trying to find an extension tried a lot of extension. Finally, I found one, which I want to show you now. It's called Dark Reader. So I've already added to my Chrome extension list. And as you can see, a lot of users have downloaded this and a lot of people are using it. It's got a lot of stars. Now what this does to this web page, let's have a look. So here is the extension. Right now it's off. I'm going to turn it on. Now once I turn it on, as you can see, it nicely switched the white background and kept the text white. Now it's really intuitive to work with this extension. So I'm on a dark screen. I switch to the, you know, web page and I can see the dark kind of theme as well. So it's going to help your eyes. If you're facing this issue, you can cannot find a better extension than this one. And it's not a sponsor video. It's just me showing you if you're a programmer and you use the dark theme for your IDE and you switch to the browser, which is white and it causes some, you know, eye strain or it's just, you know, hurt your eyes, then you can use this extension. I drop a link for this extension in the description of this video. Check it out. Also, you can see all the web pages, even the YouTube has a dark theme and it's pretty good. It pretty much worked for all the pages that I've used. It's worked on Reddit. It worked on Twitter and it worked on pretty much all the website that I've seen. Just got to make sure that you turn it on and that's about it. And you can even change the brightness and contrast. You can change the spear as well, a grayscale. So there's a lot of options there. I don't want to go into detail, but this extension is great. Give it a try. If you're a programmer and you're facing this issue, switching from a dark ID team to a uh, you know, bright web page. Okay, I hope you liked the quick and short video. Subscribe to the channel and like the video if you do like it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.